Hello, I am. Hello. Go on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so very much for coming to our press conference. My name is Pete Marto, and I am the uh, director of sales here at SNS Worldwide, SNS Sansei Technologies. I'd like to welcome you to the greatest trade show in the world, uh, working in the greatest industry in the world. Uh, just give you a quick little background on SNS. If you're not super familiar, we are the world's leading manufacturer of vertical and family thrill rides and the largest manufacturer in the United States of innovative ride designs. Kind of going through our, uh, you know, the past, uh, since 1994, our company has been strong with about 500 ride attractions open in over 30 countries uh, bearing our name. We run anywhere from our 40 free spins, which we've opened in the past few years, triple launch coasters, air launch coasters, L Locos, and our family inverted coaster uh, this past year. So in 2002, if you're not familiar, SNS acquired Aerodynamics, uh, you know, one of the great uh, roller coaster and ride manufacturers uh, in this industry. Many of those rides are still operating around the world. Uh, we took a, over the past, you know, 15 years or so, our company primarily worked on service and spare parts in support of the existing aero rides. And we looked at that as an opportunity to say, maybe it's time we take a look at some of those aero rides and see what we could do to bring that aerodynamic kind of feel and excitement and those great rides they did back to our industry, back to this, uh, back to our company. So we started uh, talking to some of the ride manu or the uh, park owners around the world and said, okay, you know, you're familiar with aero rides. What would you like to see? You want to see a revolution? You want to see something out there? And as you can probably see, uh, one such meeting happened at actually at IAPA's Euro Attraction Show uh, a year and a half ago in Barcelona uh, between myself and one of the biggest Arrow fans in the industry. Uh, but a little more on that later. So what we decided to do was we wanted to bring back the steeplechase. It's the return of a true classic Arrow ride. It's, it's as unique and as special of a ride offering today as it was the day that it, it was built. So, give you a little little background and history on it. You know, the, the first uh, steeplechase ride actually opened in 1897 uh, in Brooklyn, New York at Steeplechase Park. There's uh, some video of it, a lot of fun. Uh, you can see that, you know, that we really wanted to capture the essence of the original uh, steeplechase ride. So that ride actually opened in 1897, was open for about 10 years, and then a fire in 1907 actually damaged the ride, and uh, the owner of the park had to rebuild it. it cost them $100,000 to rebuild the ride, which might not sound like a lot in roller coaster uh, terminology, but in today's money, that'd be $2.6 million for that ride. So that ride was rebuilt in 1908, and stayed open until September 20th, 1964. So it clearly had a good life and a good run uh, as, a, as a very dynamic, exciting family attraction. It's a favorite for generations. So when we, again, when we started looking at, at kind of what some options might be, we said, well, maybe, maybe, maybe that's the ride we need to bring back to this industry. Maybe that's the Arrow one that we wanted. Because Arrow then came along after the original was done in, in Coney Island and opened up the first one at Knott's Berry Farm. Uh, it was actually a cycle theme, not a, not a horse theme. It was a cycle theme race um, with four lanes and it eventually was converted over to uh, a two-seat wide uh, configuration with uh, a soapbox racer theme, which uh, for those of you uh, old enough uh, in the audience to remember Saturday morning cartoons, you know, you probably remember the Wacky Racer. So, uh, great little ride. Uh, the second one was opened in 1977, one year later, at Blackpool Pleasure Beach in the in uh, United Kingdom. And that ride to this day, which is themed as Steeplechase, is still open and operational. And it's now going, just finished up its 40th year in operation. Um, rather than have me kind of talk about how dynamic that ride is and why uh, we chose to uh, to go with the Steeplechase for this, uh, for this debut this year, uh, why don't I actually bring up Nick Thompson? Uh, Nick is a good friend of ours. Uh, he actually, his park, when I talked about a, a fan of Arrow, uh, his park actually has five Arrow rides. He's a fourth generation uh, family uh, operated park, an operator. And uh, you know, I wanna kind of have him share kind of that, that, that discussion, that conversation we had at EAS uh, a year and a half back. So Nick Thompson, ladies and gentlemen. Hi there, thank you Pete. 
Yeah, about a year and a half ago, uh, Pete came up to me and said, we're uh, thinking of bringing back some ABBA rides, and we're going to do the uh, revolution. And I said, that's brilliant, but don't do the revolution first. You've got to do the steeplechase. You know, it's one of the most unique rides and thrilling rides that, you know, we've ever put in. Um, it was put in, as Pete said, in 1977 at a cost of £813,000. It was the first ride my uh, father ever bought after my grandfather. Um, and, it, you know, it's been one of the most popular rides ever since it was created and still is today. And I don't know how many million riders we've had on it, but it's just spectacular to see this one. So, yeah, as... Uh, he said we've got uh, our first Arrow ride was the Alice ride back in uh, I think it was 1961. Then we had the uh, Steeplechase in 71. Then we had the Revolution in uh, 79, and the big one in 94. And then we had the first SNS ride in 1977. So we have a, a very long relationship with this great company. Um, the um, Oops, sorry, check my notes. Um, uh, where are we? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, as I said, the ride was built in 1977, and it's still as popular today as it's ever been. And so, you know, we're thrilled to see this one. And, uh, you know, I can't wait to have a ride on it. Thank you very much, please. Thank you, Nick. If you haven't noticed, Nick is actually the chairman of the Balpa Association, the British Amusement Parks Association, uh, hence the bling. Uh, so he's, uh, you know, we're very lucky to have uh, Nick be able to help participate and share kind of his experience with uh, the steeplechase ride. Um, again, you know what, we, we really took a lot of time and energy to really study this ride. It wasn't just, hey, let's go and make the same thing. Just like uh, Mr. Dulu did back when, they, when the first steeplechase burned down, he made enhancements and improved the ride in 1908 when it was rebuilt. When Arrow built their first steeplechase ride, they made some changes and some enhancements to it. You know, we, we looked at that design and said, how can we keep the ride experience dynamic and fun and family friendly, but also, you know, change that up and make it safer in terms of restraints, make the track design a little bit more smooth. So we spent a lot of time talking to Nick about the things he liked about his steeplechase and the things that he said if he could do it all over again he would do it this way so we did that we flew a number of our engineers over to study his ride very closely and we thought it was real critical to really be in touch with that ride to get an understanding so when we started designing we came up with a, a lap bar restraint which what that is it allowed us to significantly lower the height restriction on this ride i mean you're talking uh for for black i believe it's around 55 inches is the current minimum rider height for that ride we have this ride at 42 inches or 1.1 meter so again we wanted to have something that was open dynamic and something that the whole family could enjoy uh, the simple single lap bar restraint uh, holds the people in tightly wonderful ride we allowed also the but we still maintains that openness of the original steeplechase ride that really makes it so uh, so fun to ride uh, we looked around and also time to look at the different kind of themes that we can do for the ride because you know, it's not just about having to be a horse race. Maybe it's maybe it's a, a motorcycle or it's a, a, a some sort of pod racer or a, a dragon or if you see over there, a, you know, a raptor dinosaur. And it really is almost limitless in terms of the kind of uh, theming that you can do for a ride like this. Um, so it's really, really, really fun. Um, I'll go ahead and show you. You may have already seen the video, but I'll go ahead and show you the, the other portions of this ride that, that, that we changed and enhanced. Um, we wanted to keep a standard chain lift uh, to take it up. The original, actually, back in Coney Island was a cable pull, but this, uh, the arrow one was chain. We wanted to stay with the chain lift. Um, the other thing we wanted to do was incorporate a Mobius loop. Uh, for those of you who don't know what a Mobius loop is, usually the, the track crosses over at one point and then goes a second time around the track on the other rail. So what this allows to do is keep the footprint compact, allow for to keep the cost down with the track length, but also provide a good long ride experience. We actually bypass the station with a uh, bypass on the front and the back end of the station, which goes around the track, which allows us to have a second lift reusing the first lift uh, for the ride experience. 
And then lastly, as you come back into the station, there's also adequate time to load and unload the ride, so you're not rushed with a ride like this, and not it doesn't damper your or dampen the uh, the ride capacity op uh, opportunities for this ride. So we, for all these things, we're very excited about. We wanted to make it very maintenance friendly. We wanted to make it very fun, very dynamic, and really do something cool with it. So. Uh, you know, this isn't just a concept. Uh, you see we actually have, although the, the coatings are, are just for looks, uh, the ride and the, and the chassis itself are the actual ride design we're going with. Same thing with the restraints. You see we actually, uh, if you find your way out to Logan, Utah, you'll see our test track and we've had, uh, had a couple runs already and uh, the, the initial feedback is we're real excited about it. So, you know, really taking a holistic approach to the way we approach our rides. You know, uh, we're, we're out there trying to find something that's going to be really fun, different, unique, exciting for our guests. So with that, I just want to thank everyone for coming out to the press conference. Uh, myself and a number of us uh, here will be available to answer any kind of questions. We have some engineers. We have some of our project managers. Uh, I'll be available as well as uh, the president of our company, Tim Dimko. But uh, allow me to thank you guys. I want to thank our staff for working on this, especially our engineering team that put in countless hours to get this ride together and really make it an incredible ride experience. I'm so happy to be a part of this. So thank you everyone and have a great show.